So they got that one. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys. Whatever time y'all are tuning in, I certainly appreciate y'all are here. In today's video, guys, we're going to be opening up three different packages. One from Lynchburg, Virginia. The other one is from Gibsonville, North Carolina. And I'm also going to be opening up the package from Mr. Heath Warren from Warren Ambles. Y'all check him out on Facebook, but he donated two Ambles like this. It's a smaller one, but it's got case and buck knives on there. Can't wait to show y'all that. Those will be in the whatnot auction tonight. Don't forget, 7 p.m. Eastern time on whatnot. Just go over there on whatnot and do what you got to do and get an account. That way you'll be eligible to bid on the knives. I already got, I think, 30 knives up there right now. And we're going to add these two animals that I added. Give us a total of 32. And guys, in every package I send out for every knife, we're going to be giving these away. You are a gift foundation sent these to me to give away to y'all. Let's go there right there. You are a gift. And it shows you the Bible verse, what refers to that you are truly a gift. And this one here gives a Bible verse for love. Galatians 5.13, serve humbly in love, it says. And Genesis 1 verse 27 you are a gift and first peter chapter 4 verse 10 these will be going out with every knife if you buy two knives you'll get two of these so if you buy five knives you'll get five of these that's pretty cool i just want to thank you are a gift for sending these but these will be included in your package over how many items you buy you'll get one of these i'm gonna leave a link down below in the video description for the whatnot auction. So again, guys, thank y'all for tuning in today and I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, guys, here are the three packages. These are the anvils. We're gonna be opening those last. This one here, guys, is from Lynchburg, Virginia. We'll be opening this first. And this one here is comes all the way from Gibsonville, North Carolina. This is a 2009 or 2008 mini shot buster. I bought from the Albany Pawn Shop where Colt works. Part knives. There's no note in here, but it just comes all the way from Mr. Stephen from Lynchburg, Virginia. We like some old knives here. Wow, check that one out. No handles. I'm gonna say it's a uh, Colonial. No, it's at Jockwick, Ireland. It's got a little parrot over there on the left side. I've seen these before. I don't know much about them, but it's like a good knife, though. Needs to be cleaned up. Blades are in excellent shape. Thank you, man. Thank you, Steven. Check this one out. Sheep foot blade. It's imperial. This one made from 46 to 56. How about that? The USA to the right or under? Uh, up under. So yeah, 46 to 56, yeah. That's pretty cool. For the year round service around the clock, Edgewood Diner. How about that? That's a nice knife. Just needs to be cleaned up. That blade is in excellent shape. Look at that one, y'all. Is this a Klein tool? IK CC USA. Never seen one of these before. That's a nice knife too, buddy. Needs to be cleaned up. This one's just a little knife here. Kent Kent cutlery. How about that? That's pretty cool. The bitty thing. 
I can't get that blade up. Now this one here is a toothpick. That is a Camillus. How about that? It's got that long line too. 60s and 70s. Dude, this is going to be a nice knife to fix now. I'm going to get some of uh, palm wood or something and put on here. This is awesome, buddy. I love this right here. That's going to be a good restoration project right here. We See how that point's sticking up? And that little trick, guys, is grind off just a little bit of that foot right there on that tang. Just to get it. Grind that a little bit or sand it. And then when it closes, it will be right below that. So yeah, this is gonna be a nice project. Let's see what this one is. This is a big boy here. Looks good. I like that wood. Pakistan lobby doll. Would have never guessed that. That looks good. It really does. Well, Steven, thank you, buddy, for all these knives. I can't wait to uh, get on some of these. These are going to clean up real good. This one here is going to be a nice little restoration project. Can't wait to do that one. Let me see. Got some hoot owls talking. Steven sent those knives all the way from Lynchburg, Virginia. 564 miles away from Ellerville, Georgia. Steven, appreciate those knives, buddy. I appreciate you supporting the channel. God bless you, buddy. Okay, guys, this one here comes from Mr. Barker from Gibsonville, North Carolina. This is his second package. Just thank you again for doing what you do. Stay safe and God bless. Drew Barker, Gibsonville, North Carolina. This one went to peek out. Whoa, check that out, y'all. This is a muskrat. Wow, man. I've seen a blade like that before. This is a Shrade 77 OT. OT again stands for old timer. This, th that one's gonna clean up real good. Nice one. This one is. It's like a Gerber, y'all. Oh my goodness, look at that, y'all. I love this, Drew. Thank you so much, buddy. I love these old Gerbers, man. Dude, this is a beautiful knife. It's got a little broke tip, but we're going to come from the top down. That way it, it retains its original edge. It's dull. But man, that is awesome, buddy. Look at that, Portland, Oregon. Thank you so much, man. I cannot wait to do this one. Wow. Dude, I love this, man. Thank you, Drew. Appreciate it so much. Wow, Doral. I bet this is a knife. No. Nope. A Zippo, man. Drew, this is awesome, man. Look at that, y'all. Got a little Doral sheath for it. How about that? Man, I love this, Drew. Awesome, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love these Zippo knives, man. Wow, dude. Thank you. This is awesome, Drew. I see her. This is a craftsman, y'all. I believe it is. Well, it just says Sears on it. Let me know. I don't believe I own a Sears one. I own Craftsman, but not a Sears knife. This is pretty cool. I think Camillus made these for them, if I'm not mistaken. It's a nice knife. 
The blades are in the blades are in decent shape. These are. That one's been sharpened down a good bit, but this one sure has. Look at that. It's been used now. Used and abused. This is a queen. Dude, look at that. Wow, man. Check that out. Got a little broken tip. Oh, it's been sharpened. This is what it is. It's been sharpened a good bit. Wow, hear that snap, y'all? I gotta look the year up on this one. Dude, this is a nice knife. Thank you, buddy. I love Queen. A Zippo. I think. Yep, a Zippo Slim. Need a flint. That right there. Got that one hash mark underneath there. Let's see what year this is. One hash mark. It's straight up and down. Yep, straight up and down, one hash mark. 1973, see there? I love this little thing, man. <laughs> I appreciate this car so much. It's 1973. I was three years old. It's got initials right there. CBL. Yeah, we'll try to get that going here in a minute. Another Zippo, y'all. Wow, buddy. Let's see. That one's got two hash marks. No, two hash marks on the right, two hash marks on the left. Let's make sure this one don't have any hash mark. Oh, it does. I was wrong. This one has two hash marks on the left, one hash marks on the right. So let's back up to, to this one here. I didn't see them a while ago. Two hash marks on the left, one hash marks on the right, straight up and down. Let's see, 1971. This one is. It's a 1971. I'm sorry, y'all. This one here. Two and two. That's 1970. My birth year, y'all. We definitely got to get this one going. Let's see what we can do here. I love this little card, this reference card. Love it. Whoa. Dude. The way it feels. I'm going to say it's a colonial. Well, it's a hammer brand, y'all. Look at that. Golly, this thing is old. Dude. I love this, man. Check that out, y'all. Ain't that beautiful? We're going to see what the age is of this thing. We can fix that right there. Just curve it on up. We can show fix that. Hoorah! We're going to see what year this queen is and this. And we're going to try to get these things lit. So guys, I think it's this one right here. 1984 to present. So the latest it could have been made is in the 80s. But that's it right there. So it could be 84 to 90 or after. But anyway, nice knife though. But I love that shield right there. Nice. I'm thinking this one, guys, is from, uh, let's see, from 45 to 55. Fit to find out. Nope, I was wrong. I think it's this one right here. 1938 to 
See how the arm is big right here and this arm is little. That one's from 36 to 37. Let's look at it again. Either way, it was made before 1941. That's the big arm. So, big arm is 1938 to 1941. The one I was thinking has USA over to the right from 45 to 55. So, 1938 to 1941. That is awesome, man. So this one was probably made before World War II. It's in great shape, too. It really is, guys. Love this right here. Awesome. Thank you, Drew, for these knives, man. Thank you so much. Okay, guys, both of these have to be drilled out. But they do have extra flints down there. See that old flint right there? See that right there? So we're going to be using that flint. This one has the same thing. See, it has a flint right there. So... See, that's what gets up in them holes and turns to cement or something. But we're fixing to loosen it up. Let me get me some gloves on. Okay, I'm gonna be adding a little bit of fluid to these holes here. And down here too. Drill, baby, drill. Hey, they got it. Yep, see, I can't turn that. Hurrah. So that got that one. Now, for this one. And that one got that one too. You see, I can't turn that wheel, see? So we know the board's been punched out. That's all that debris right there. Hoorah. We'll make sure, I'm gonna use this pen to make sure the board's cleaned out real good. It is. So you can see that pen up there. It's coming all the way through, that's good. Same thing here. All that stuff coming out. That pin is about the size of that. It just helps clean that bore out. Now, let's get the flint in. Put this back in there.
All right, now we're going to lift that head. Remember that hole is for extra flint, y'all. Not to seal. Mainly because that, that'll absorb a bunch of the fluid. It won't get down in there. You got to pull up the wick too. Cut it so we light it. Had to give the wick some time to absorb this fluid here. See how that wick is, it looks clean right here. That one's done. This one's nasty right here. Remember guys, you'll pull it all the way out if you ain't careful now. It might take a new wig. We're going to try it. Right, let's try it. How about that? The hinge is a little loose on this one. This is a 1971. And this is a 1970. <laughs> How about that, Drew? Thank you, buddy, for this. Appreciate this so much. I love working on these. I'm going to clean them up too, guys. I'm not going to put them in my collection like this. Might even carry this one for a little, little while because it's my birth year. Two dots on left, two dots. Or two slashes on the left, straight up and down. Two slashes on the right, straight up and down. That's 1970. I used to remember that, but I didn't this time. Hoorah. Thank you, Drew. I love this, man. I love working on these so much. I really do. Drew sent those knives and Zippos all the way from Gibsonville, North Carolina. That's his second package. 467 miles away from Ellaville, Georgia. Drew, appreciate the knives and zippos, buddy. Appreciate you supporting the channel. God bless you, man. Now, guys, we're going to be opening up the box from Mr. Warren over at Warren Anvils. He donated these to the auction tonight. Y'all, please check him out. I'll leave a link down below to Warren Anvils on Facebook. He does beautiful work, y'all. Beautiful work. All right. Again, these anvils will be in the auction tonight. I'm going to get them on there today. I'll tell you what, guys. The Junior Sodbuster is about the perfect EDC. The only thing I wish Case would do is make a Sodbuster with a lock blade. Wouldn't that be cool? And a clip. Wouldn't that be awesome, EDC, if they'd done that? Case, all you got to do is put a clip on there and make it a lock blade. I would love a Sodbuster with a lock blade. Wouldn't that be awesome? It's a workhorse now, but it sure enough would be a workhorse then. Check this out. Ain't that beautiful, guys? Look at that. Beautiful anvil. Those are magnets here. You can put your knife up there, display a nice knife in your showroom or something. Ain't that awesome, guys? Look at here. Buck knives. Again, you got magnets. And you can just display your knife. See, like this here? 
This is how it works, watch. This is a case, so we're gonna put it on a case one. You can see it right there. Ain't that awesome, guys? And you can just sit it right there in your showroom like this, see? Ain't that cool? Very cool. I'm gonna be using mine tonight in the auction. But ain't these beautiful? Warren, you did really good, man. You did outdone yourself. This is what Deep South Cutlery uses too to uh, display their knives at their auctions. They have auctions every Thursday night on Deep South Cutlery. I'll leave a link down below to that auction too, to their page. But they have auctions every Thursday night starting at uh, 6 o'clock Central Time. And the first knife goes on the auction block at 6.30 Central. They just cut up and talk for 30 minutes. It's, it's, they're funny, too. They're really great guys. Y'all go in and check them out. But this is how I learned about Warren Ambles, y'all. But he donated these two for the You Are a Gift Foundation charity on Whatnot tonight. Great job, Warren. Great job. But these will be in the auction tonight, guys. Well, the, Actually, these will be up on the auction uh, sometime today. You'll be able to pre-bid on them before the show tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Warren sent those anvils all the way from Perkinston, Mississippi. 360 miles away from Ellaville, Georgia. He's located right below Wiggins, Mississippi. That's where our friends at Deep South Cutlery is. But Warren, thank you for the anvils, buddy. I appreciate you donating to the charity auction. God bless you, buddy. Y'all make sure y'all go on Facebook and check out Warren Anvils. He's a great guy. So nice of him to donate these anvils for the auction. Thank you, buddy. Guys, I hope y'all enjoyed the video today. I really love getting those Zippos in there, working on those and making them come back to life. I got to clean them up before I throw them in my collection. I just want to get them lit for the video, guys. Uh, I just want to thank y'all again for tuning in. And don't forget, guys, tonight is the auction, 7 p.m. Eastern Time on Whatnot. Okay? And uh, I'm probably going to start having about three auctions a month but I'm, they're not going to be as big just letting y'all know giving you a, a heads up so there's probably going to be two more charity auctions about 10 items each in each one this month so just giving you a heads up because i'm going to tell you what guys is uh having doing 30 something knives and then having to mail 30 something knives out it takes a bunch of time you know just just let you know i'm probably going to be starting to uh do them three times a month about 10 items each 10 to 12 items each okay just letting y'all know anyway guys thank y'all for tuning in today i want to say god bless y'all until we meet again guys y'all be like a good night stay sharp